2000 Toyota Camry XLE. We're about to recharge it. I've had it on a vacuum pump for over the last hour. Uh, I got the high side liquid line, temperature sensor, low side suction line, temperature sensor to indicate the superheat and subcooling. We have the low side hooked up, we have the high side hooked up, and we're about to charge it. And on this particular vehicle, its charge quantity is, come on, zoom in there, 850 grams. So we're gonna be putting 850 grams in there. We're set up in the liquid state already. Vacuum pump's on, so I need to turn off the vacuum. So let's kill, let's get rid of that. The vacuum is off. So we're ready to inject the liquid as soon as I open up this valve because the suction is off the low side. The high side pressure is open, liquid trade in there. And we said 800, God dang it, I'm paying attention to video and not what I'm supposed to be doing. 850 grams. And we're gonna get that from our wireless Bluetooth that I already zeroed out and test on the scale. I showed you many times before how to do that. And I'm gonna skip it on this video because I'm trying to shortcut here a little bit. Um, I'm in a hurry, put it that way. So, 850 grams. Okay, let's see if we could all see it all in one. There's the grams right there. The scale's moving a little bit within 10 grams. It's going back and forth. There's a little swash of the refrigerant inside there. So. We're gonna see the pressures here. We're gonna see me open it right here. We're gonna see the grams right there. And you're gonna count how many seconds it takes in to get 850 grams in. One, two, three. There we go. As you can see, it's going in. So we're going up to 850 grams. We're heading towards the 400 right now. This is all it ever takes. Like I always say, it only takes this long to do every car no matter what there is no excuse there is no reason that it should not take under 60 seconds and that's if i don't mess up here i'm going to call that good enough for government work that's it it's done and as you can see here you can see our pressure went where i had it down here it was like negative 29.9 whatever and then you can see the pressure shoot up on the high side as soon as i injected the refrigerant so we're gonna start this up, and uh, do I have the? Yep, I got that open. Put that open. Don't forget your nylog to stop vacuum leaks. And I think I got everything up. I don't have this shut because we're gonna start it. I don't need to push refrigerant oil back into my manifold right now. And why is this on the on position? Oh, it's a good thing the battery's on. Good. And let's get our fan up. Let's get our temperature down. Let's get our AC on. Let's get it to our face. Let's make sure all the vents are open and straight. We don't want to restrict any airflow. All right, let's see what's going on. Got to bring the screen back in with us. And there we go. We could see the absolute moment right where this squares off right there where the compressor kicked in and the low side went down. The high side's going up. Yep, we got fans. We just went up over 120 high. And yes, it's a little loud in here. Okay, so I'm gonna let this run for a few minutes and we're gonna come back and take a look at this vehicle after several minutes of running. So this is how it's running right now. Started up for the first time right after it was recharged. Let's see what it looks like in about five or 10 minutes. And um, yeah, that's about it. It's a done deal. See you guys on the next video on this car, just to see if the pattern has changed any.